That's me, Jane Quimby. My life is a little complicated right now. I landed my fashion dream job working for her, Gray Chandler Murray. The only problem? They think I'm an adult. Now I'm juggling two secret lives, one in high school and one in high fashion. Previously on Jane by Design. Then the job search... The big brother has it handled. I don't know, Jane. You'd have to sign up for the career internship program. You'd be sacrificing a huge part of your high school experience. It's not like I'm at the center of the social universe around here as it is. What is this? Sneaking around for the past three months, I don't get it. You've forbidden me from telling a soul. I like you, Billy. I have to do something. They're going to take our house. Corey will be with you in a minute. And good luck. I average an assistant of two a month. You make it a week, I'll be shocked. And that is India Jordan, associate designer, directly beneath Gray. That weasel is after my job, and I am not going out without a fight. Starting salary is $34,000. i will take it. Famed fashion icon Yves Saint Laurent once said that elegance is forgetting what one is wearing. Considering the week I'm about to have, I sure hope he was right. I was gonna eat that. I need you to drive. It's not even eight, and I already have six emails from Gray, not to mention a lost earring shipment from a country that I can't pronounce. Seriously? What? You really gonna keep up this whole double life thing? Oh, I don't know, Billy. I mean, do I continue to work at my fashion dream job, or do I return to a life of high school obscurity? What should I do? Come on, Jane. Obscurity? It's a little dramatic, don't you think? We're just misunderstood. Besides, aren't you a little burnt out on that whole work thing? Are you kidding? I love this. This job, it's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning and the last thing I think about every night. I mean, do you have any idea what that's like? Sometimes. When Miss Dean wears that scholastically inappropriate sweater on Fridays, for instance. I mean, I guess that feeling might be a little different, though. Yeah, charming. We're still not driving. <sighs> For the record, that sweater is age inappropriate. That woman should be teaching ill-fitting attire 101. I'd take that class. I'm sure you would. Janet. 
Turns out no one liked your little presentation last week. After all, turns out they loved it. Congratulations. <laughs> You're kidding me. I don't kid. She doesn't kid. Uh, no, I know. Um, thank you, Gray. But really, it was it was all you. Of course it was me. Of course. Problem is, they loved it so much, they've decided to launch it at the fashion preview. The what? Preview party this Saturday behind you. It's where we show our upcoming line to potential investors and publishers. Oh, this is great. No, it's terrible. Terrible. Great. I can't get back in time to get that line ready for the preview party. She cannot get back. And if that line is not beyond perfection... Perfection. Well, with India after my job, I certainly can't expect her to handle things. Definitively not. If only there were someone, someone that I could depend on. Someone like you. Me? Is that a problem? No, it's just, you know, I sort of have plans this Saturday night and... Never mind. No, no, no. Um, I'll, I'll cancel. Are you sure you can do it? Yes, I'm sure. I can do it. Do you think she can do it, Stefano? I do. Excellent. I think. It's a huge opportunity. But when you can totally handle. And one that many of us would have jumped at the chance to have. Like you can't pass this up. And you're gonna do great. You really think so? Absolutely. Okay. I can do this. I can do this, right? You can't not do it. Of course you can. Thanks, guys. She's toast. Bye bye, Jane. Are you even listening to me? Pay close attention, or I will kill you in your sleep. I said. I've been looking for you all day. That's nice. Had a good time the other night with you. Getting to know you, Jane. I was thinking you and I should go on a proper date, though. Yeah? Mm, I don't think so. Are you all right? I'm great. I just... I gotta go. Whoa, whoa, back up a sec. Do you actually like this guy? No. Yeah, a little, I guess. I don't know, but, you know, that was before I saw him all up in India Jardine's business the other night. Just how up in her business was he? Billy, please, don't prove out on me. This is about my job. Yeah, the job that's leaving me flying solo at the dance Saturday. I know, I'm sorry, I just... Hey, I'll call you back. Hey, I'm golf, not tennis. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, uh, I want to talk to you about something. Sorry, no, I can't help you there, man. I'm not into that stuff. No, not... What? That was my brother Tommy. He got fired last summer. I don't want any trouble, okay? That's not what I want to talk to you about. I was wondering about Jane. You guys are close, right? Yeah. So? So, I, uh... Look, man, you're not making this easy. I was just... Are you guys... You know... She's my best friend. And I'm not gonna let her get screwed over by some meathead jock who hasn't given her the time of day since middle school. Okay? Um, if you'll excuse me, some of us have to earn a living around here. <laughs> this one is interesting. I know, it's terrible. That's not what I said. You didn't have to. I wish I could help you out, but Jeremy's got me prepping the line. Honestly, Carter, I am completely inexperienced. I have no idea why Gray would give me something this important to do. Um, maybe because she trusts you? Hmm? Thanks. It'll be fine, Jane. Awesome. Hello. 
on, Jane. Go on. You can say it. You're overthinking things a bit. What do you mean? This event, it's just a little preview for the money people. And the money people want to feel like their money is... safe. And while the work you've done here is, is all very, very good, it's certainly not safe. Well, I'm not quite finished yet. I just... Oh, oh, of course not. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Good luck. Afternoon, Judge. You're late. Uh, sorry about that, sir. Hey, Lulu. You two know each other? Uh, not really. He goes to my school. Daddy, if it's okay, I think I'll wait inside. I'm not really in the mood for golf today. It's not like you. I'm quitting before we even tee off? I'm not quitting. I just... I don't feel like playing today. Okay? Okay. Gave me the wrong club. Uh, I'm pretty sure I... I know you, don't I? Uh, Nutter, isn't it? Yeah, you've been in my courtroom a few times. My brother, not me. That's... that's not me. Uh-huh. Not yet. Is that what you want? To be in design? That has potential. Thanks. Did I do something to offend you, Jane? Because if I did... No, of course not. I just, um, I really should get back to work now. <sighs> hey, can you explain American women to me? Forget it. You, Jeremy. India. A nice surprise. Are you avoiding me, Jeremy? No. No, of course not. Good. Because I was thinking to not have to work, we could get together. Yeah. And... India, you and I, past few months, it's not. Oh, it's not really. Look, you're. To me, is it hot in here? Just, uh... What were you saying, Jeremy? Your place or mine. It's classic and simple and, um, safe and expected. Exactly. This is sad. This is my fault. I put way too much on you. I just thought, I thought I could call in and do a simple top edit. I thought you were ready, but... No, no, I am ready. I am. <sighs> Safe and simple. <sighs> the preview party is in less than two days, Janet. Oh, it's Jane. And this collection needs to be perfect. It needs to be fresh. It needs to turn heads. And this is not that collection. You know what? It's all right. I'll call in India and have her redo it in the morning and then... Wait! Um, just... Let me take another shot. Uh, please? Are you sure? Yes. I can do it. All right. Start over. Thank you, Gray. You better not let me down, Janet. 
Now I have to go. I'm going to be late for dinner. Right, Patricia? Absolutely. The cocktails are waiting. Mm. Hi, Janet. Hi. Bye, Janet. Bye. See you at the preview party. Back to the drawing board. Hi. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Really? Because I thought we didn't even know each other. I was just trying to throw him off. Well, you threw me off. Come on, Billy. You know my dad would freak out if he thought there was something going on between us. You know how he is. Yeah, he's an ass. He's tough and overprotective, but that's only because he wants what's best for me. And what is it that you want, Lou? You. I want you. Nothing, okay? I just... I'll see you later. What? You really gonna make me say it? Come on, man. How you wanna talk, huh? <laughs> Did you tell anyone? Tell them what? What you saw with me and Lulu. Look, I don't care what or who you do, all right? I just, I don't get it. A guy like you with a girl like Lulu Pope. I'm surprised you haven't told everyone in town. It's her. She's the one who doesn't want everyone to know. Why would you agree to something like that? Look, are you going to tell anyone or not? Not. But... Do one a favor in return. He seems like an okay guy. Oh, I hate these things. Focus, Jane. Nick Fadden. Crap. It's great. Again, I'm telling you, Billy, if I don't get this line ready in time for Saturday's show, it's over. Can you please focus on the conversation at hand? Oh, you mean the conversation about the high school Adonis that I've been drooling over for the past five years? That conversation? Yes, thank you. Remember the time that Lulu invited me to a sleepover in the fourth grade? She gave me the wrong address. I showed up to a cluck shack with my sleeping bag and my Malibu Barbie ready to go, and there wasn't a soul in sight. It was humiliating, all because I allowed myself to believe for one minute that they could ever treat us like one of them. And this, this feels a little bit like that. You think I'm pranking you? Of course not. It, it sounds too good to be true, okay? Nick is gorgeous and popular, and I can barely complete sentences around him. Besides, you hate those guys. Why do you even care? I don't. And why would he talk to you about it, of all people? I don't know. Maybe he's, like, nervous or something. In a town full of rich jocks, Nick is the richest and jockiest of them all. And I am Little Orphan Annie who gawks at him every day in AP English. Why would he be nervous about me? What? Nothing. As much as I would love to talk about Nick Fadden all day, every day, for the rest of time, I have a fashion line to prep for in less than four days. I have to go.
you, Gray. <laughs> this is what she does. Hangs you out there, all alone. Succeed or die. You aren't the first or the last. The faces are different, but the stories are all the same. Megan? Ooh, poor Megan. One ill-timed layover for Gray in Morocco, and Megan was gone. Then there was Alexander. He lasted three whole days. Until he made the huge mistake of confusing Burgundy with Magenta. You think Gray's having you put together this line because she wants you to succeed? Sweetie, think again. Why would I listen to you? You want me to fail. True. But don't say I didn't warn you. Then what did he say? We've gone over it 50 times. Yes, about Jane, that's it. Why? Lulu, I told you, Jane is off limits, okay? Fine, whatever. As long as Nick promised he wouldn't tell. He promised, right? Yes. Are you sure? I guess. You guess? This is serious, Billy. Nobody can know about this. Ever. You're right. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. Because there's nothing left to tell. It's over. Looks like you could use a hand. I I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> okay, if you're right, I could definitely use some help. And I have help to give. What are the chances? <laughs> All right. Let's have it. What have you got so far? Well, um, I, I think I figured out the first five combinations. And this one? I know, it's just, you know, I keep going back and forth on the necklace. I like it. It's just a bit expected. But we'll get there. I mean, from I like you so I can hardly look at you in less than a week. I demand an explanation. I guess I'm in a buy American sort of mood. Jane Quimby, you are breaking my heart. <laughs> Hardly. Whoa, uh, you have a girlfriend. A what? You're with somebody. No. Oh, come on, I saw you. In India the other night? That. No, no, no. Um, India and I are absolutely 100% over. Right. You know, it didn't look very over from where I was standing, which was right over there, just in case you were curious. It was... You know what I did, actually? I'd not talk about it. <sighs> that wasn't what it looked like. All right, it was exactly what it looked like. But you and I, Jane... We could have something special. <laughs> Are you laughing? We could have something special. That bad? Was it? It was kind of corny. Corny? Mm-hmm. You know, this could seriously damage my reputation as a ladies' man. <laughs> a ladies' man? I also like chicken. Oh, that's a nice one. Slow down, I can't hear you. Uh, 
I'll, I'll be ready in two minutes. I try, you know? You got a letter. It's by the couch. Yo, why aren't you dressed up? We're gonna be late for school. Jane? Janie? What's wrong? Talk to me. It's my first paycheck. We're rich. Hey! Hey, Ben. Good shower? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was it was a real nice shower. Thanks. You two are getting weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have another meeting scheduled for today? Nope, but it's nice to see you, Rita Shaw. Notice I remembered your name this time. You do realize you're not allowed to just show up and hang out whenever you want on school grounds, right? I have an interview. An interview for what? A job. A job here? Yeah, assistant athletic director. Perfect, right? You know, if this works out, we'll end up being colleagues. How great is that? Great. Quimby. Okay, that's me. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck, Rita Shaw. Good luck. I mean, she used to look at me like I was God's gift or something, and now it's like, I'm a leper. Maybe her taste has evolved. Look, I know that you don't want to see Jane get hurt, but I'm not this... What was that again? Meathead jock. <laughs> right. I'm not that guy. The guy you think I am. What do you care what I think, man? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say anything about what I saw you and Lulu. I mean, no matter what happens with Jane, I wouldn't do that. Here's the thing about Jane. She's smart, and she's beautiful, and, and she's amazing. And she has no idea. <laughs> Just talk to her. That's it. That's all it takes. Hi. 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 <laughs> so, um, I was wondering if you're gonna be there Saturday. Uh, yeah, totally, Saturday. Um, what's Saturday again? Oh, the, um, the dance. Oh, right. Magical night. <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could meet there. You, you wanna meet me? Yeah, you. It's a date. I mean, you know, metaphorically speaking, not like a real date. Just like, you know, you're going to be there and I'll be there. And so we'll meet there together. I'll see you Saturday, Jane. Yes, yes, you will. Or you won't. What exactly is the problem? The problem, Billy, is that the winter formal is the same night as the fashion preview. And I already told you I cannot miss that party. Gray is counting on me, and I refuse to give India Jourdain the satisfaction of watching me fail. Then skip the dance. You already bailed on me once this week. What's the big deal? Are you kidding? Nick Fadden said meet you there. He wants to meet me there at the dance. So, you know, I have to go. So what do you think? That you can't be in two places at once, Janie. That's what I think. 
Oh, no, no, no. I know that look. I have a plan. Yep. That's the look. Look. Winter formal here. Preview party here. I'm really not following. Oh, come on, Billy. I couldn't have planned it better if I tried. I'll just take a spin around the dance floor, quick change in the bathroom, and then race over in time to prep for the fashion preview. Back and forth a few times. Win the guy, impress the boss. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. It's all going to work out, and I'm going to be awesome. Where did you get that thing? Oh, wow. Wait, that was... Mom's? She's wearing that old picture, right? The one Dad had in his wallet. Mm-hmm. He'd be really proud of you, you know? <laughs> yeah, he would. Let's see it. You look oh, incredible. Rocking the faux hawk formal style, are we? Hey, if you got it, flaunt it. What? Oh. Okay, can we go now, please? some grade school sleepover prank. Not tonight. He wanted to see you. You know where to find me. You know, I am so lucky. I get to dance with the prettiest girl here. It's nice. It's, it's just... Why now? I mean, you've barely said more than the occasional hey Jane since Bobby Connor's seventh grade pool party. You know, the incident. You, me, seven minutes in heaven. That was you? I mean, that was you. Of course. And it was very memorable. Obviously a high point for you. Well, I have been reliving those seven, seven minutes, minutes over and over throughout the years. You don't remember a thing, do you? <laughs> nope. 
<laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's okay. I was 13, and there wasn't much to remember. It's, um... It's because you seem different. You asked why now, and that's why. You just seem... I don't know, just different lately. I don't know, I've just been racing back and forth between... Shoot. You okay? Um, yeah, I just, um... I have to go. To, to the bathroom. But I'll, I'll be right back. you up to. You best take your eyes off my job. I don't know what your assistant told you, oh, but I... Please. Have... You're about as subtle as Galliano's fall collection. Little word of advice. I wouldn't bite off more than I can chew. Are we clear? Huh? Good. Now where's Janet? Janet? Who's... Oh, please. I'll find her. Beep. 
Uh, They're going on now. And what is that? What? <laughs> that. This, this is an outfit change. It's cute, right? It's quite gorgeous. Whose is it? It's mine. Yeah, who designed it? Oh, um, me, I guess. I designed it. <laughs> We've got some serious fashion fallout happening back here. It's ruined. Oh. Now what? And one dress short. We cannot send this line out incomplete. Guys, seriously, what are you looking at? I was wrong about you. I think you might be cut out with the fashion business after all. See you in the office, Jane. She knows my name. She actually knows my name. Oh, congratulations, you pulled it off. Amazing. I have to go. The snow's falling down, I pull you near, the sea 